The purpose of art is to stop time. The moment you hold that brush, the feeling that you have when you hold that brush is beyond imagination. It's as if you're taken into a different realm, a different atmosphere. It's a feeling that that's timeless. My name is Kundai Anna Maradze, and I'm an artist who's into abstract expressionism. I started drawing ever since I could remember, ever since I could hold a pencil. And that alone made me realize my passion for art, especially when you have, when you're coming from an artisan family, my dad being an architect and my mom being a designer. It's, it played a major role in becoming who I am today, being an artist. So when I went to high school, I, I, you know, I had never learned art anyway. It was just me and my experiences and just drawing and practicing drawing. And then this teacher uh, discovered me, saw me a drawing in, 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 in one of the art classes. And, you know, he saw my drawings and told me, you know what, you should try um, writing for an exam, the final exam. And I'm looking at him like, uh, I've never done art. I've never, you know, I don't know anything. And he was like, you know, it doesn't matter. It's okay. From that day on, my life changed because I had my first exhibition in 2015. There, um, I had my paintings were all about portraits. And those portraits were just sad, were dull, and they were really nice. Well, at least that's what people said. But they would also ask me like, are you okay? Because there was just about people crying. Little did I know that there was something missing in me and I had to find myself as an artist. I love expressing myself because it doesn't drown me anymore, but I paint according to what I'm feeling. And it's just the amazing feeling ever. That's when I also discovered um, Arukad University. Ever since I went to that school, I remember the first day when I the first class I attended, I felt like a six year old because everything I was learning was so overwhelming and I didn't know anything, but all I had was a gift. And I had said, I remember saying to myself before entering, enrolling for the school, saying, you know, what's a gift without knowledge? So I was willing to learn everything. And my inspiration comes from my parents. My mom being a designer and my dad being an architect, they're both so creative and you know, they've always helped me through my career and they inspire me to be better. And they, But most importantly, God is my inspiration. And when I look at everything that's around us, his creativity, each and every one of us as a person, we look at each and every one, we are all different. That's so creative, that's amazing. And that inspires me that, okay, God, you created all this. I can do better, I can be better, you know. That's, that really encourages me and inspires me a lot. I don't think one requires talent for them to be an artist. You can be who you are and still be creative. You can be who you are and still be an artist. Why am I saying this? Because I remember this one time we had to do an experiment. I had an ex exhibition and I put um, a canvas and some brushes and paint. And I just let, you know, made everyone feel free to just go there, over there and splash your paint there. So everyone just went, whoever you were, you just came and then splash paint. And it came out to be this beautiful piece of art. And it was, it showed me that, you know, everyone, no matter who you are, you are creative. It doesn't matter whether you have a gift or not, or you have a talent or not. Art is art. Just be who you are and be creative. Think out of the box, be imaginative, and just throw yourself out there.